Hi everyone, welcome to the end of the week one TOOC video from the Course Tutor. Um, we do these videos once a week and um, we do them in a variety of settings. And um, what we're trying to do um, by presenting them in a variety of settings is give you some ideas about how easy it is to capture um, technology enhanced learning resources to increase interactivity. It was really good to see everybody in the uh, webinar in week one and um, we're going to really looking forward to week two but first of all I'm going to hand over to Liz who's going to give a summary of how week one went. Thanks Marian. Uh, hopefully the picture will switch over to me in a minute but it doesn't seem to be doing that so you're just going to have to look at me in a tiny picture in the corner for the time being. Um, so in week one we've been thinking and talking a lot about induction processes for online courses and it's been really great to hear about so many of your experiences, your, um, your hopes and fears about the way these induction processes work. Uh, we've had a lot of people who've been really experienced with online learning and a lot of people who've been much less experienced so it's been really good to see the, the range of experiences there. Um, and as always, the icebreaker activity has been great. Um, I don't know about uh, Marianne and Abby, but the icebreaker is one of my favourite activities. I love watching all of the different activities coming in, people filling in each other's, and we've had such an exciting array today. Um, personally, one of the next things I'm going to do this afternoon is go and click on all of those YouTube links on the music one that's just gone up, because uh, that sounds like lots of fun. Um, and... Just before I hand over to Abby to talk about what we're doing next week, just to remind you, if you haven't already, please do sign up for a group to work in next week. We've got um, group induction webinars going on at the beginning of the week, so you'll need to sign up in order to be able to join one of those. Now over to Abby, tell us what we're doing next week, please. Thanks, Liz. OK, um, this is Abby. What we're going to be looking at next week is designing engaging online activities but one of the first things that we actually have to do before we can get to this point is to look at some different learning design models. So what's the first thing that I'd like you to have a look at um, when you get into week two is to look at the learning design frameworks and tools resources link, which is right at the top of the page. What you'll see in there is a video by Dr. Greg Benfield, and he's talking about different learning design frameworks. And then underneath that, you'll also see a series of resources that are really, really useful for um, this particular topic. Um, at the, at the very least, I would suggest you look at the um, video as Greg covers lots of different topics within that area. Um, one of the other things that you might want to have a look at are some of the JISC documentation, um, but they are actually quite long, so you may want to sort of pick and choose amongst those. And also there are some online tools where you can actually practice and have a go at doing things. Um, some of the other things that you will be getting into next week, you're going to be contributing to an inventory of online activities. This is where you have to um, write about or pr produce some content about either some activities that you've used as a member of staff or that you've encountered as a learner. And then you need to pick on the framework, describe it, and then maybe put something together to do sort of like a PowerPoint presentation or a Google presentation or even a Prezi presentation if you're feeling uh, particularly adventurous. There are lots of other really, really useful resources within there. Um, you'll also have the opportunity to discuss learning designs. And then um, there will be a section for you to uh, get to know your group um, because we'll be having some online webinars where you'll actually um, get the opportunity to meet each other, have a play around, see what it's like to work online as a group before you actually get to the point where in week three, you then actually have to do your specific group activity. Okay, that's all from me. And I think that's probably all from all of us now. Have a good weekend, everyone, and we'll see you again in various webinars at different times on Monday and Tuesday. Bye. Bye.